Hmm. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Look like the microphone is good. Good evening, everybody, to Movie of the Week. It is Sunday evening, and the Movie of the Week, as you can see, is Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump? Shan, why are y'all watching Forrest Gump? Because there's a lesson and a message in the movie Forrest Gump from 1995 that I think men and women in entrepreneurship and relationship spaces can learn. I think there is a message in Forrest Gump that people who are really heavy right now on entrepreneurship or really heavy right now in relationships can learn. One thing in particular, we're going to see if there was any, there was any, any, um, narrative trying to get pushed in this fantastic film. Got to be honest with you. This is another one of the films that I've always thought was extremely amazing. Forrest Gump, a young kid whose single mother was raising him, getting his education by any means necessary. He's mentally challenged and he, you know, he ends up being a billionaire and a medal of honor awardee and a war hero and a high school, uh, you know, jock, you know, met the president multiple times. Children was an honorable guy. Wasn't a hoe. I mean, there's a lot of messages in this movie. We're going to watch them tonight. We're going to, what we do on movie of the week on my show. This is one of the many shows that I do is we watch movies, but we look at them through a different lens. We want to we want to watch the movies through a different lens. We want to watch these things in a way that we probably never watched before. Whereas you normally go and see a movie just for its entertainment content. We kind of want to check uh, this movie out. Looking at it in a manner that, how do I say? We just want to look at it differently than just entertain me. We want to see, is there a message in this movie that we should take away? So, without further ado, we got 10 minutes. So we always go live before we do the shows. We always go live before we do the, I mean, we, before we watch the movie. We always go live before we watch the movie. Who's texting? Steven is already in the movie theater. So if you guys are members of my channel, now here's the thing. For Movie of the Week, it's available to the members of this channel. It's not available to everybody. And so, as you can see, if you're on YouTube... Oh. If, if you go to YouTube, my YouTube channel, you can go to the Community tab. You'll see the flyer for Forrest Gump. However, if you're a member of my channel, you'll see the two flyers. The same one. But the members version of the flyer gives you the information you need to access the movie theater. So if you guys are a member of my channel, please go click that link and it'll take you straight over. I'll let you in. Um, something I was getting ready to tell you guys. I forgot what it was. Ah, I hate when I do that. Either way, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, we normally start the project or start the movie 15 minutes after where I kill this live. We go live for just 15 minutes just to, get, you know, like I just did, give you a small explanation of what we get ready to do, what this is. And then uh, we jump into the movie. It's really fun watching it because, you know, we don't talk during the movie, but we type. You know, there's a chat section and everybody that's in the theater, we just be chatting away, talking about uh, the movie itself. So. It's uh, it's it's cool, and it's Sunday night, you know, and it's Mother's Day, and you're chilling, and you know, you you've already prepped for work tomorrow. You got everything is already laid out, you know. You already know what you're wearing. Um, you've already eaten. The house is clean, right? You've done your laundry, and you just want to just kick back and relax. Come kick back and relax with your boy Shan. All right. Let's see. So. That's Lapeef. I was like, Kevin Samuels. 
saw Lapeef getting ready to go. For those, I hear you guys coming into the um, movie theater. It's on the computer way over there. I will, uh, I'll let you in. So just make sure when you click to come into the theater, I can hear it. Um, I can hear you trying to come in. I'm going to just keep you in the green room. And then I'll be over there in just a second until we uh, get ready to get started. When's the last time you guys saw Forrest Gump? I saw Forrest Gump in 1995. How old was I in 1995? I was 23. I was 23 years old when Forrest Gump came out. Great movie, and I think it's long. Hope I don't fall asleep. Y'all know I'm notorious. <laughs> you guys know that I'm notorious for falling asleep during a movie uh, movie week, movie of the week nights. I'm good for that. Thank God my whole system shuts down and does all the proper stuff to kill it. Um, but I'm good for falling asleep during the movies. So I hope I don't fall asleep on this one. I think this, if I recall correct, this is a long movie. So I hope you guys uh, got your popcorn, got your drinks, got your snacks, got your candy, uh, get snuggled up. Uh, broadcast uh, the stream to your TV. What was that? Oh, anyways, broadcast the stream to your TV, cast it to your television. Or if you're watching on your iPhone, make sure you prop it up on the pillow or your computer. And we're getting ready to get busy. We got about six more minutes and I'm out of here. Six more minutes and I'm out of here. Hit the thumbs up on the video. What up, Steven? Salute. Hoo Salute to my man, Steven. I already let you in. Five days. <laughs> Steven is putting five on it that I fall asleep. You know, Steve, I ain't going to even make that bet because I'm going to lose $5. I'm not going to make that bet. I'm not going to make that bet. And you know what, Steven? We moved the whole movie of the week up an hour. <coughs> and we're not doing it on, on Mondays. <coughs> you know, Mondays is my most intense work day of the week for my for what I do on a daily basis, my fashion brand. <clears throat> Catching up on orders and whatnot. Mondays is the most difficult day. And we were doing it at 8 o'clock, so I was falling asleep. But the thing is, even though we moved it to Sundays, <clears throat> where I'm not doing any intensive labor all day, and we moved it up an hour to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time instead of 8, I've still found myself falling asleep twice on two different movies. <clears throat> I know. What do you mean? You should have got notified. See, Steven, that's why you got to hit the bell. That's why when you subscribe to the channel, you got to hit the bell. If you had the bell, you would have got a notification that I went live for like this little 15 minute video. And then you would have, you would have like, what the hell are we doing? And as a member, Steven, you should get a notification that we, um, every time, I make a community post. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you get that automatically, but it doesn't matter. You good here now. Oh, that means if you miss some of that, you miss some good ones then, bro. You miss some good ones. So what did we watch last week? We watched. I don't remember. Oh, but you know what? I do got to say we watching is Brave. Yeah, we're going to watch Braveheart. We got to watch Braveheart, y'all. We got to watch Braveheart. I got to send myself a message to tell myself to watch Braveheart. New note. Dag it. Oh, thank you, Lakeisha. <laughs> Lakeisha be... <laughs> Lakeisha is amazing. Mm. So far away. Like he's, we watched Waiting to Exhale and the and and oh Steven, it would have been good for you to be there. Cause I was the only man in the theater. It was me and seven women, six or seven women, man. And they started off like mm, waiting to exhale. But they saw, they saw it. I didn't I didn't have to, I didn't really have to defend it much last week, Steven. Cause the women saw what they was doing to us men. And they saw what they was doing to women, the black women particularly. I think they only came around, the, the ladies only came around because they saw themselves being marginalized the way black men were. Like, I think if it would have just been black men being bashed, they would have been fine. But when they saw that black women was being portrayed as promiscuous and, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, combative and argumentative and, 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 and stupid and making bad decisions, 
deliberately just because why not? And they were selling. I think the black woman was like, wait a minute. Okay, this is some bullshit. But if it had just been men, I don't think they would have fucking been on my side like that. It was only because that movie was making black women look stupid too. So yeah, man, we watched Waiting to Exhale. That was a good one. That was a good one. And that's how we're going to kind of look at Forrest Gump tonight. Lakeisha, can you do me a big favor? Can you can you DM me just the word Braveheart? Because I'm going to forget. DM me the word Braveheart. We got to watch Braveheart. We've got to watch Braveheart. In fact, we might as well just watch that next week. Get it over with. Braveheart is going to be the movie we're going to watch next week. So, we got what? One minute and 45 seconds. So, uh, 30 seconds. So, everybody, this is the movie of the week. At, we watch uh, a movie. All the members of the SR Army, all our members of the SR Army is um, invited to tap in with us at the movie theater. All you got to do is uh, click the link on the flyer that is in the community tab. Click the link that's in the, on the flyer in the community tab, and we'll see you inside. I'll let you in in just a second, and we're going to get started this week. When's the last time you watched the movie Forrest Gump? It's been some years, right? I know you all have watched it. It's just been some years since you've seen it. So I want you guys to come ahead and pull up. There's Lakeisha giving me that message. She's so great. Um, It's been some years since you guys seen... Uh. Forrest Gump. So might as well just get a refresher now, but you're going to get a refresher looking at it with a different lens. You're going to watch it a little differently. Look, exactly, Stephen, over 10 years ago. So we're going to watch it tonight. And be like, okay, oh, I remember that. Oh, okay. But damn, I didn't really, I didn't really catch that the last time. I didn't really notice that they said it like that. I didn't really even realize that. Did we watch Color Purple? Have we watched Color Purple? Because that needs to be a movie too. One of them, for the, for thirty years, my favorite film, and now all of a sudden, after I'm looking at things, after I've taken the red pill, I'm looking at shit differently in the Color Purple. Oh yeah, Nayla Kesey, we may have to catch the Color Purple. Now that I'm looking at the color, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Mr. and Seely and Nettie and Suge Avery and Sophia and Harpo. Mmm. Beta. <laughs> Anyhow, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody that wants to be a part of the film tonight, make sure you guys pull up into the movie theater. We're getting ready to kill this stream. And uh, we'll be watching Forrest Gump. Um, and learning some shit because that's what we do. We are, everything that we do at this channel is to edify our minds, to make us think about things a little different than we did before, learn to be better so we can do better. I appreciate each one of you guys. You have a fantastic rest of your Sunday, and I will see you team members, soldiers, who over in the uh, in the movie theater, and we out.